Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 46 days of going to GCSE Maths exam and yesterday we looked at surge and today we're going to be looking at another surge topic which is rationalizing the denominator. So whenever you've got a fraction, it, it's not normal to leave a surge in the denominator. We tend to want to try and rationalize the denominator. If you've got the Court Maths Revision cards, card number 76 is very useful when it goes through how to rationalize the denominators. In this video though, I'm going to go through how to rationalize the denominators. I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself. So remember to press pause and to try those questions. And then once you've done that, then obviously have a go at the practice questions as well. And there's a link to those in the description below. But anyway, we're going to go through rationalizing the denominators today. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at rationalizing denominators. So whenever you've got a fraction with a third on the denominator, what we tend to want to do is to rationalize the denominator. We don't like having irrational numbers on the denominator. So what we do is we rationalize the denominator. So if we had something such as 7 over root 3, we don't want this root 3 on the bottom line because it's irrational. So what we want to do is we want to multiply both the numerator and denominator by something, the same thing, so that we're going to get a rational number on the denominator. Now, remembering earlier that we had root a times root a is equal to a, because obviously if you have something, for instance, the square root of 5, multiply the square root of 5, that's going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. So if you multiply a third by itself, you get just a rational number. So for instance, root a times root a is a. So if we had this fraction, 7 over root 3, if we multiply both the numerator by root 3 and the denominator by root 3, it will rationalize the denominator. So we'd have 7 multiplied by root 3 on the numerator, which would be 7 root 3. And on the denominator, we'd have root 3 times root 3, which is root 9, which is just 3. And that's it. So we've rationalized the denominator. The denominator now is a rational number. It's 3. So if you've got a fraction such as 7 over root 3, if you want to rationalize the denominator, you just multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the third that's on the denominator. And that's it. OK, now let's have a look at one for you to try yourself. So here we've got one for you to try. It says rationalize the denominator of root 5 over root 2. Okay, so if we wanted to rationalize the denominator, we want to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 2. So let's multiply the numerator by root 2 and multiply the denominator by root 2. So on the numerator, root 5 multiplied by root 2 would be root 10. And on the denominator, we'd have root 2 multiplied by root 2. That's going to be 2. And that's it. That'll be root 10 over 2. And that's it. And if you have a look, the denominator is rational. So we've rationalized the denominator. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've been asked to rationalize the denominator of 5 over 4 root 3. So if we have a look at this fraction, you can see the denominator is irrational. We've got four lots of root 3. So we don't want to have this root 3 on the denominator. So what we can do is we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 3, and that will rationalize the denominator. So let's multiply the numerator by root 3, and let's multiply the denominator by root 3. So in terms of the numerator, we've got 5 times root 3. That's going to be 5 root 3. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got 4 lots of root 3 times root 3. Well, root 3 times root 3 is 3. And then we've got 4 times 3, which is 12. So the denominator would just be 12. And that's it. So if you had 5 over 4 root 3 and you wanted to rationalize the denominator, you can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 3. The top would just become, the numerator would become 5 root 3. And the denominator, you'd have 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is 12. And that's it. And as you can see, we've rationalized the denominator. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So this is one for you to try. Can you rationalize the denominator of 2 root 3 over 7 root 5? Okay, so if we wanted to rationalize the denominator of this fraction, we just need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 5. So let's multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 5, because that'll get rid of the third on the denominator. So in terms of the numerator, we had 2 root 3 times root 5. Well, multiplying root 3 by root 5 is root 15, so it's going to be 2 root 15 on the numerator. And in terms of the denominator, we had 7 multiplied by root 5 times root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5, and 7 times 5 is 35. So that'll be equal to 2 lots of root 15 over 35 and that's it and we've rationalized the denominator okay let's have a look at our next question okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question says rationalize the denominator of 3 over root 2 plus 1 now this fraction is a bit more complicated than the ones we've looked at so far because on the denominator we've got root 2 plus 1 and if we wanted to rationalize the denominator of something like this, what we need to do is we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And what that means is we take the denominator, so our root 2 plus 1, and what we do is we change the sign. So we have root 2 subtract 1 and root 2 subtract 1. And we're going to multiply both the numerator 
and the denominator by the conjugate of that denominator. So in other words, we take what's on the denominator and we change the sign. If this was a plus sign, we make it a minus. If this is a minus, we make it a plus. And we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that. And if we think back to yesterday, I finished off with this question where we had root 7 plus 1 multiplied by root 7 subtract 1. And when we expanded our brackets, we get the answer of 6, which is just a rational number. So if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, so in other words, we just change the plus sign to a minus sign, whenever we expand our brackets on the denominator, we just get a rational number, which would be fantastic because then we'll have rationalized the denominator. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. So in terms of the numerator, 3 multiplied by root 2 subtract 1. Well, 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2. And 3 times minus 1 would be minus 3. Okay, so we've multiplied the numerator by root 2 subtract 1. Now let's multiply the denominator by root 2 subtract 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do my working out here where I've got root 2 plus 1 and then root 2 minus 1. And I'm going to expand my brackets and see what we get. So root 2 times root 2, that'll just be 2. And then we've got root 2 times minus 1, that's going to be minus root 2. And then we've got 1 times root 2, that's plus root 2. And then we've got 1 times minus 1, that's going to be minus 1. So we've got 2, subtract root 2, plus root 2, minus 1. Now the minus root 2, plus root 2, that's going to cancel out, that's going to be 0. And then we're left with 2, take away 1. And 2, take away 1 is just 1. So that means our denominator will be 1. Whenever we multiply root 2 plus 1 and root 2 minus 1, we get the answer of 1. So we've got 1 on the denominator. And now if we just divide by 1, that'll leave us with 3 root 2, subtract 3. And that's it. So that means we've rationalized the denominator. We've actually now just got 3 root 2 minus 3. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. Our last question says, rationalize the denominator of root 3 plus 1 over root 5 plus 1. So here we've got a fraction, we've got our root 5 plus 1 on the denominator, and we've been asked to rationalize this denominator. So feel free to press pause now and to rationalize the denominator of this fraction. Okay, so the rationalize of the denominator of this fraction, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So in other words, we need to take what's on the denominator and change the sign to a minus. So we're going to have root 5 minus 1, and we're going to have, that's what we're going to multiply the top by, and we're also going to multiply the denominator by root 5 minus 1. So multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So let's do that. So root 3 times root 5 would be root 15. We've got root 3 times minus 1, that's minus root 3. Then we've got 1 times root 5, that's going to be plus root 5. And then we've got 1 times minus 1, that's going to be minus 1. So that's what we've got in the numerator, and that can't be simplified. Root 15 minus root 3 plus root 5 minus 1. There's nothing we can do with that. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got root 5 times root 5, that's going to be 5. And we've got root 5 times minus 1, that's going to be minus root 5. We've got 1 times root 5, that's going to be plus root 5. And then we've got 1 times minus 1, that's going to be minus 1. Now, this denominator can be simplified. Let's actually write this out again. So we've got root 15 minus root 3 plus root 5 minus 1 on the numerator. There's nothing we can do with that at the minute. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got minus root 5 plus root 5, that's 0. And then we've got 5 take away 1, that's 4. So the denominator would just become 4. And actually, there's nothing else we can do with that. And we've rationalized the denominator. So that's it. So our answer would be root 15 minus root 3 plus root 5 minus 1 over 4. And that's it. And that's it. So in today's lesson, we've looked at rationalizing denominators. We've looked at how to rationalize denominators when it's just like a root 3 on the bottom line and so on. And that's where you times both the numerator and denominator by that root 3, and that'll rationalize the denominator there. We've also looked at fractions. Whenever on the denominator, you've got things such as 1 plus root 2, or root 7 minus 1. And we've looked at how we would multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of that, and then that will help us rationalize the denominator there. So hopefully now you're really confident with rationalizing denominators. Now, what I would say, obviously, there's 46 days to go into your GCSE math exam. Keep up with things such as the five a days, doing the foundation plus, the higher, and the higher plus five a days. The higher plus five a days will have questions such as these, these rationalizing the denominator questions in there. So it'll be quite useful to try those higher plus five a days as well. But keep up the hard work. Remember, three o'clock tomorrow will be the next video on YouTube. And uh, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.